Hey everybody, thanks for tuning into today's video. Some of you may be familiar with the vlogger and photographer Peter McKinnon. If you're not, you should. You can check out a link below to his YouTube channel. Really great photographer, videographer. He employs some really cool techniques in some of his videos that really give him kind of a step above the rest in his what his videos look like and the kind of performance value and the production value of his videos. And there's one technique in particular that I really like and I wanna show you how you can recreate. And I'm calling it a really official name, the Peter McKinnon letterbox pinch effect. Something like that. And what it is, is it's a way by which you can make the top and bottom black bars of your video just get a little bit bigger so the video gets wider, if you will. It gets shorter from top to bottom. And it really kind of gives an emphasis of something unique is about to happen, something special, something different is about to happen. It kind of focuses your attention and it's got a really cinematic feel to it. It's really useful if you want to kind of focus attention towards something, a change in the scenery or a change in tempo, a change in mood in your video. Let's get into Premiere here and I'll show you how it happens. Now there's a couple ways you can do this and what I like to do is I like to do this using an adjustment layer. You can also do this on an individual clip if you want. I just like the adjustment layer. It gives me a little bit more flexibility, I think. So what we need to do is we want to highlight that adjustment layer, and then we want to go to the effects panel and search for crop. And then you click that, drag it onto your adjustment layer, and then a new set of options show up over here on the left-hand side. We want to tick the top and bottom, and then we want to move the playhead to where we want this motion to start happening, where we want the beginning of this to happen. So I'm gonna have this first clip here that we see right here. I want this clip to, at about the end of it somewhere, start pinching in. So let's say about, let's see, the end of it is about 317. Let's go about, oh, back to two seconds or so, roughly. And I'm gonna start here. Remember, we gotta be having the adjustment layer highlighted. And then I'll click on the adjustment layer again. And here I'm going to click this little button which, say, which will add a keyframe. Boom, and we see those show up here. And then I'm gonna move this to where I want the ending to be. And I like to have it be just on the final frame of the clip. So at this point, I'm gonna click on the top and make it 10%. And you'll see what happens up here when I click out of it. See, it pinched it down. 10%, click out of it, pinches it down. So now when we go back and watch this part here, so you can see that from that first keyframe right about there, all the way to that last keyframe that we used, it pinches it in so it kind of makes it a little bit less tall from top to bottom. Then what I like to do is at the end of the clip, when you want to unfocus your attention or kind of bring the screen size back up, if you will, we'll just do the exact opposite. So we'll go to, let's say, I want it to be right about here. We're gonna start it and we're going to start to make another keyframe. So we'll click this button here, that one there for the top and the bottom. Go to where we want the final of the, the end of the pinch to be. Let's say right about there. And then I'm gonna say zero, and this will automatically make another keyframe, and zero again there. Click out of that. So that final part will look something like this. And voila. So all together, it looks something like this. It's as easy as that. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it useful, go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you wanna see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button and the notifications, turn them on. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.